Well, welcome to Race in Alaska. Today we're going to do a couple of projects on the Argo. First, we're going to check all the bearings in this, and to check all the bearings, it's a process like everything is, it seems like. I'm going to take the tracks off, I'm going to take all the chains out from the inside running gear, and then everything, then the, each individual tire will be free to be able to shake and move back and forth to see if the bearings in it are good. There's an easier way to do it, but what I want to be able to do is take all the chains off, put them in kerosene, clean them all up, get all the gunk off of them and everything, put them back on here and lubricate them really nicely. Right now they're a little gummy looking and so I just want to get all those cleaned up. So this is a good opportunity to do both those things. And so we're going to go ahead and get these tracks off first thing. I've already deflated the four corner tires, which then reduces the circumference. And then you can go ahead and I use a ratchet strap on here and I'll show you that in a second. And then you can go ahead and pull the bolts out of them. Until you deflate the four corner tires, when you inflate them, it puffs them up and it tightens the chains up when you deflate them, but then it reduces the circumference and the, track, the tracks will be a little bit loose. And so you can see I have my ratchet strap on here. And I've already taken the inside bolt off and then those come off. I'll pull this back and then I'll drive the machine off of this it. track off. I have labeled this. This is on the left side. This is the outside of the track. And when I put it on, I want that to be going forward. The reason I'm doing that is because these tracks are put on here with a really heavy screw and that screw actually draw, goes about this deep and pinches that in there. So I'll take a quick peek at these grousers. So this is a grouser that's never been put on my machine. And so what happens is the belt goes through here and then, can you sit, <laughs> sit. Okay, good. And then you, there's these big screws that go all the way through this, through the belt and then into here and you screw that up until it clamps the belt in there so it can't slide. And I think that if you put this on the wrong way or the wrong side, then what you're doing is you're bending it back and forth, you know, like you've, we all, probably broke a piece of metal or a nail or something and you just get it where you start bending it back and forth and it breaks off and so I want the stress to always be going the same direction and I think that will increase the lifetime of those long screws. So this is the back of the machine and then looking at these chains they don't look as dirty as I thought they were but you can see that they're really tight right now so what I'm going to do this is the chain tightener I'm going to loosen the chain tightener up and when I do that this chain will go slack and then this back tire I'll be able to jiggle it back and forth to see if there's any slop in the bearings and if there is then I'll replace that bearing but I'm just going to check all the bearings. And so by rotating this, I can push that all the way down. And now this chain is sloppy. And so this rear, there's no tension on here. So now I can check these bearings. So I'm gonna pull it in and out and up and down. And there's no play in that at all. And this tire's off the ground right now. And so this one is good and solid. Okay, you can see that this chain is loose now, so this sprocket is good. So we're gonna go ahead and try and move that one. Okay, and everything is tight there, so that one is good as well. This chain is loose, now I gotta get this chain so it's loose as well. 
the back tires are off the ground, but the, the front three are on the ground, so I need to get this tire here jacked up. Now you can see that this tire is off the ground because I drove this one obviously up on a block. You can see this back chain is loose and this one isn't quite as loose as I want it. There, now it's loose. You can see they're both pretty stinking loose. And you can feel play in that one. If you can even hear it, listen to that carefully. I'm gonna move it and see if, what that looks like. Nope, it's the outside bearing. Well, it's probably a good thing that I kind of wondered about that bearing. I've lost, this year, I lost the very front bearing on this one. I lost the second bearing back. And I kind of worried that this bearing had been compromised. This is what I think happens. In the very front one, this bearing, the inside bearing, and the outside bearing both blew out. And so that whole shaft could move back and forth. That whole shaft's moving back and forth, yanking on that chain. And I think that it pulled on the next shaft back and blew out the outside bearing on the next one. But that one there, it could move back and forth. And I kind of worried that it would jiggle this back and forth and compromise this bearing. And that's exactly what it's done. And so we'll end up having to replace this bearing. We're gonna check all the rest of the bearings anyway, obviously, that's why we're doing this. And so that just saved me a huge field debacle next hunting season. Both of these axles have new bearings. This one only has a new exterior bearing and this one has both the outside and the inside bearings replaced. But we're gonna check them anyway. Yep, and that is tight, tight, tight. This very front chain does not have a tightener on it, but it's not horribly tight. And this is the drive shaft, obviously. So I'm gonna check this one. And it is tight. So now I'm gonna to go to the other side and check the other side. Be the exact same process on the other side. If I run into problems, I will show you the problem. I'm kind of anticipating the other side's gonna be good though. This one here, probably the exterior bearing, listen to this, you can hear this really well. You can even see the shaft, see that sprocket moving right here. And so this exterior bearing is gonna get replaced. So I got one on that side and one on this side. And I gotta check the back two still. All right, and listen to this one. If you can hear it, can you hear that? And so there's play in this outside bearing here. So now I got, and I checked the back one just for fun. Let's see what it's supposed to look like. Chain is loose. Back one here. I'm moving it right now and there's no slop anywhere. And so that's how it's supposed to be. So I have three bearings I'm gonna change. That's really a bummer. Better now than in the middle of moose season. Before I pull this axle out, I wanna make, make sure, sure that, that this axle bolt is tight. If the axle bolt that holds it all the way back in this way is loose, then it would have the perception of, of, being, of the bearing being out. So I wanna double check that. Okay, that is, that one is tight. And so that bearing, we'll check that bearing in a second, look at it again. Okay, and that is tight. Okay, so all of those need to be replaced. It should be relatively an easy process to pull those shafts out. So well, here we are all fixed and ready to rumble. I'm really glad that I did that inspection, obviously. Um, that saved me a ton of problems out in the field. It's always easier to fix things in the shop than it is out in the field. Although that is a repair that could be done out in the field and actually we have done it out in the field before. It's much easier to do in the shop when you have tools, time, and obviously good, the good weather that's in a shop. This inspection is something that I will surely add into my annual maintenance just 
to make sure that everything is spiffy good before I go out in the field. I will go ahead and do a video of the entire fix if you're interested in seeing that and I'll drop that one in the future so you can see it. Thanks for watching today. We always appreciate it.